Rule 46. Fighting. A fight shall be deemed to have occurred when at least one player punches or attempts to punch an opponent repeatedly or when two players wrestle in such a manner as to make it difficult for the linesman to intervene and separate the combatants. The referees are provided very wide latitude in the penalties with which they may impose under this rule. This is done intentionally to enable them to differentiate between the obvious degrees of responsibility of the participants either for starting the fight or persisting in continuing the fight. An instigator of an altercation shall be a player who by his actions or demeanor demonstrates any or some of the following criteria. Distance traveled, gloves off first, first punch thrown, menacing attitude or posture, verbal instigation or threats, conduct in retaliation to a prior incident or obvious retribution for a previous incident in the game or season. No player may remove his helmet prior to engaging in a fight. If he should do so, he shall be assessed a two-minute minor penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. Helmets that come off in the course of and resulting from the altercation will not result in a penalty to either player. A player who engages in a fight and whose jersey is not properly tied down and who loses his jersey in that altercation shall receive a game misconduct penalty. And there's the sweater. Comes right off of her sneak, so not tied down. The referee cannot assess a minor penalty for fighting. Only a major penalty can be assessed. A match penalty, however, shall be assessed to a player who punches an unsuspecting or unwilling opponent and causes an injury. If any player wearing tape or any other material on his hands, below the wrist, who cuts or injures an opponent during an altercation will receive a match penalty in addition to any other penalties imposed, including for fighting under this rule.